can you give me an idea? Uh, like, what is what is an average day? If there's an average day in the fire department, and I ask you this because, especially coming from our hood, we know what the police do. We're very familiar with them, but the firemen they show up. And they're kind of in the background. They're there, but they're not there. They're there when you need them, but then they kind of slip into the back and you just see these guys and you know that they're necessary. But I never got a real feel for outside of fighting fires. How does y'all day look? Yeah. So, I mean, there's, 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 there's a lot to uncover in what you said. One, I think... The, the, the interesting thing about you said is you don't know they're in the background. And I, I think that is, um, that is um, intentional. And that's why I never even thought about being a firefighter. And that's why a lot of people of color don't think about it. When you walk by a firehouse, usually the doors are closed. A lot of us don't even go in a firehouse. We're not invited in a firehouse. We don't know. Um, yeah. So uh, an average, there is no average day you can say, but for, I can tell you for that what an average day may look like is you have two shifts. You have an eight to six, and then you have a 6 p.m. to 8 a.m. the next. Okay, so an average day in the fire department is you report to work at 8 a.m. in the morning. Uh, first thing you do is a roll call. You check all the equipment, you check your mask, you check your tools, you have a little breakfast, um, you clean the whole firehouse. Um, then if you have inspections, we might go do inspections. If we're going to drill, we might drill. But other than that, you're, you're waiting for a call. So um, by the time I got on the job in 96, we had just merged with EMS. So now we were responding to not just fires, you know, gunshots, stabs, car accidents, heart attacks, trouble breathing, uh, broken arm, any and any type of 911 medical emergency the fire department is responding to. So your day can be filled up with car accidents, water leaks, a fire, somebody got bit by a dog, somebody got shot. Um, it's just a whole list of different things. Again, you're probably the only black firefighter I know. Is this a job you would recommend to people in our community, both men and women? Absolutely. The first thing I did uh 1998 i joined the first recruitment team um because you got to remember the fire department said we don't have a problem getting people <laughs> so but the vulcan society the organization of black firefighters is saying okay but we have a problem getting people of color so i joined the first recruitment unit in 1998 and i left the firehouse for a year um and what i did is i drove around the barbershops schools churches mosques bus stations, train stations, libraries. And all we did was also like the Nation of Islam. We just stood on the corner with tables and pamphlets um, and just begged our people to um, get the job. And once we tell people the salary you get, how many days you work, your medical benefits, most people don't even know. We get six weeks paid vacation. A year? A year. Wow. Okay. So, so, so sell me real quick. Yeah, I know you've been off the job for a little while. Uh huh. Sean Prez is walking down the street. I, What's the sales pitch here? What, 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 what are you telling me? To I get say, me to want to take this I test. Say, I say, look, hey, man, why don't you come take this test? Oh, what is that? I said, this is New York City firefighter. Oh, I don't want to be a firefighter. I ain't trying to run into no burning building. Hold up. Look, that's not all we do. We don't just run into burning buildings. And if we do run into burning buildings, we are well-trained. It's just like a basketball team. You have a center, a guard, a forward. Everybody got a position. And that whole team can't win unless that every, all those positions are functioning the same. It's the same with the fire department. You have a, a nozzle man. You have a backup. You have a chauffeur. You have a roof. You have all of these positions and they work together. We're not running in no burning building. I, I'm not trying to die. Um, so that's my first thing. Then I say, we do medical emergencies too. Then I got to bring them in with this. I say, look. I get six weeks paid vacation, six weeks. That's a month and two weeks. And I can do anything I want in those six weeks. I can also break it up three weeks here in October, three weeks in July. You do whatever you want with your six weeks. My six weeks, I went to Little Rock, Arkansas. I did a play. Got paid for doing the play, got paid for the city. Benefits. It's harder to talk to young people about benefits because they don't understand about medical, dental. I got, I got benefits for the rest of my life. Next thing I talk to them. Hold on, about, hold on, slow down. You currently? As a retiree, I have medical benefits for the rest of my life. 
Keep talking. So then the next thing I talked to them to hook them is the salary. I think at the time it was making maybe 60, 70 K, but with overtime, you can easily make a hundred thousand dollars. Now here's the thing. I asked them how many days a week you think a firefighter works? Five days. Nope. A firefighter works. We get a calendar for the whole year. My calendar says I work two days, nine to five. I'm off two days. Then I work two nights and then I'm off three days. Now, long short story is if I combine my calendar, I can do what I call a 24 hour shift. I can come in Monday night, get off Tuesday night. If I do six 24 hour shifts in a month, that's all I have to do for a month of work. Get out of here. They call mutuals. I can do six 24 hour shifts. So for instance, I'm working Monday and my son needs to go to Sesame Place with his preschool and they're looking for volunteers. I call up John. Yo, John, I'm working Monday nine to five. Can you work for me Monday nine to five? John says, yeah, he's Sean, I, I work for you. You know what? I'm working Wednesday nine to five. Can you work Wednesday nine to five? Yeah, I can do that. Just like that, I'm off Monday. I can take my son to Sesame Place and no bosses get involved. There's no permission from an officer. That's between me and John. Now, I can also call John and say, hey, John, I'm working Monday and Tuesday. I don't want to work Monday and Tuesday. I, can I work all day Monday? You work all day Tuesday and we do it that way. John says, yeah, that's cool. So now instead of working Monday and Tuesday, nine to five, I work all day Monday. I have an extra day off Tuesday now. So if you do that six times, you will find out that the whole month is over. So that month, the rest of the month is you. No, no. What I'm saying is in those 30 days, uh -huh. you have to work six 24-hour shifts. Correct. And you will fulfill your obligation of 40 hours and get a full paycheck. Wow. I, you know, I don't know where y'all was when I was coming up. <laughs> you must it's me that where was you stationed at was you stationed in Harlem? y'all know you born and raised in harlem. in harlem i was in harlem i was on Harlem 43rd between 7th and 8th avenue oh so you was right in your hood drew hamilton projects nice oh, you know while we're on the subject of uh it's a couple of roads i want to go down i asked you to sell me on this because i noticed with firemen, you guys, there's an affinity for the job that you don't find anywhere else. And one of your fellow actors, Steve Buscemi, you know, this is a guy who, he's been in every movie you can think of. Um, <laughs> hit TV shows from The Sopranos to Reservoir Dogs to so many. But you always see him speaking so highly of that brotherhood, mm -hmm. of that department. Number one, have you ever got a chance to meet him, work with him? And you guys are on two, I mean, you're, you're brothers, black. He, he's white, you're black. But within that, I'm sure you guys don't see color. You're seeing, we go into them buildings together. Yeah, absolutely. There's, you know, when you're doing a job where it's life or death and you mess with fire, uh, and you got to also understand the fire department, and this is another reason why I think people of color were left out of it for so long. There's a book called Firefight um, that I read, which is the history of, of, of the fire department and, and African Americans in the job. And there's another book written by uh, another brother, but it's about a, a police officer named Samuel Battle, who was the first black police officer. And one of the differences that they allowed, that I learned that they allowed more blacks to become police officers than firefighters was in the fire department, you sleep together, meaning you have a bunk room, you eat together where you sit down. And back in those days, you know, it wasn't rocking like that. It, you know, they had something called black beds, which the black person was supposed to sit in. Some firehouses didn't let people sit at the table and eat with the same utensils and plate. So it was really bad. but. But that also is the reason for the camaraderie and the brotherhood and sisterhood. It's because you guys are living together. Police department, you go to work, you're changing your locker, you go. Fire department, you go to work, you eating together, you're sleeping together, your showers in there, the study room is there, you're living in a house, it's a firehouse. So of course, there's gonna be a different type of bond. 
um, with, but also it creates a dynamic where if you're not in the crew, um, if, if, if you're not accepted, it can create a toxic, a, a toxic environment. Um, but for the most part, that's where that bond comes from. That's where that brotherhood comes from. There's this, there's these group of people who come to work who initially then become a family. Nice, nice. Um, Steve Bushimi, you ever get a chance to meet him? No, not yet. I'm sure y'all have a lot to talk about when you do. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.